Washington, D.C., police raced toward the Library of Congress after a man in a pickup truck said he had a bomb. The area went into lockdown and government buildings were evacuated during the standoff. CBS 2's Deborah Alfaron has more. A man who claimed he had a bomb in his pickup truck parked on the sidewalk near the U.S. Capitol surrendered after hours of negotiations. We had information and, and evidence of, of what was in the bed of his truck. At this point, um, we think that's safe. He was taken into custody peacefully. He got out of the vehicle um, and uh, surrendered, and the tactical units that were close by uh, took him into custody. As the tense situation unfolded, the suspect was identified as I'm Floyd speaking. Ray Roseberry from North Carolina. If you blow my truck up, man, hey. In a video posted from a black pickup truck, the suspect claimed to be holding an ammonium nitrate bomb in his lap. The only thing that can set this bomb off is enough decimals. At one point, he addressed President Biden, saying he was unhappy about the situation in Afghanistan. Capitol Police sent out a tweet asking people to avoid the area, fearing there might be other explosive devices around the city. D.C. staffers in the area were asked to shelter in place or evacuate. Both Congress and the Supreme Court are in recess this week. The situation comes just months after thousands of pro-Trump rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol, angry about the presidential election. Law enforcement officials spoke with the suspect's wife in connection to today's incident. They say he recently lost his mother and was dealing with other issues, too. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.